Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's LEGO Robotics. Today's video, I have the LEGO EV3 mini gun here. Dude, this thing is awesome. Check that out. Going to have to be very careful with this, okay? This is going to be using rubber bands, so you always got to be careful with that. But this guy, touch sensor activated. This thing will rotate and shoot rubber bands. It's just amazing. If you guys want to see this mini gun, stay with me. Hino Lego Robotics. Okay, guys, a big shout out to Lucas. Lucas always brings really cool builds, so thank you, Lucas. So I will leave you the description or the link in the description on how to build this guy, and then I will let you know about the program because if you don't do the program correctly, this thing will actually chew up and eat up your rubber bands. Um, this thing has to rotate the correct way for this to work. And we had to experiment and lose a lot of rubber bands in the process of figuring that out. So today I'm going to just show you real quick how this works and then definitely show you how this thing can shoot rubber bands. So let's take a look at this. Okay, guys. So here we go. One touch sensor and one medium motor. And you can see how this is going to be an expansion piece right there. So sorry, core EV3 kits, that gear right there is going to be an expansion one. But everything else looks pretty standard. And you can see here, these 40 tooth gears are all interconnected to that worm gear right there. So what's going to happen here, and I'll explain this before I actually do this program. What's going to happen is when I press the touch sensor, this thing is going to rotate right here. And as it rotates, the rubber bands are going to get pulled and put onto this gray gear. What's going to happen is as this continues to spin, these gears will continue to spin this way, releasing the rubber bands because they're going to get pulled onto here. But the big thing is making sure that this thing rotates the correct way. So this is the one thing we had to figure out. So if you're looking at the brick like this, it must rotate counterclockwise it must go from right to left if not if it goes clockwise it's gonna this is gonna spin the wrong way it's actually gonna spin this way and it will eat up your rubber bands it'll basically get caught inside the gears so one more time you need to make sure that this is spinning counterclockwise that way this gear it'll end up loosening and the rubber bands will fire off that so let's go ahead and attach these and let's fire this gun. Dang, how many rubber bands you got in there? Okay. That's so much. All right. Say hello to my little friend. Okay, so here's what this looks like when you have all of the gears fitted up with these rubber bands. Check that out. That just looks very cool, like it's some kind of instrument. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, so this guy is ready to go. Let's go ahead and shoot this. Okay, everybody, 
There you go, the Lego EV3 mini gun. So thank you again, Lucas. Big shout out to you for building this. Um, I think he built this in one period. So it's a pretty easy build, I would say. Um, you just have to make sure again that this thing is rotating the correct way. So the gears, these um, 40 tooth gears are spinning the correct way. So when that happens, this thing is a lot of fun. And who doesn't love a really cool gun, right? Check that out. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that build today, guys. Really appreciate you guys for watching, subscribing, liking. And I will see you guys in my next video. My name is Mr. Hino for Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay guys, take care.